channel tonight. Amy's Creative Acrylics. I am Amy. Hello. I'm just going to do a, a quick little video here. I just have some leftover paint. <clears throat> so I thought I would try something that I've never done before. <laughs> so keep your fingers crossed. It turns out decent. <laughs> um, I have my canvas on um, I don't know, what do you call it, a Lazy Susan, and <clears throat> have it all flooded with DecoArts Metallic White Pearl. <clears throat> um, I have some leftover paint, so I'm going to use layered in this shovel and just kind of see what we can do. I have DecoArts Metallic Ice Blue, a little bit of... Folk Arts Ice Blue, Artist Lost Acrylic Metallic Cobalt Blue, and then I have Creative Inspirations Sky Blue. I don't have a lot of paint left, so hopefully I'll be able to get enough on there to do what I want. <laughs> I've never done it before. I've seen people who, who do them. Oh, shoot, maybe I should layer it down there. Let's push it all down. Start down here at the bottom. I think that will be better instead of letting it slide down. <clears throat> Get it all straight across the bottom there. Then I'm going to go with some of the folk arts light or ice blue well, these are both ice blue but different brands so they're different colors <laughs> they're not too good or it's not a really deep um, shovel or whatever scoop whatever you want to call it so I don't want to overflow so I'm not going to hold it <clears throat> too much on top of the canvas quite yet I see it's pretty full on the end there back in the back of it so I don't want to have it start going over And who knows, this might not even turn out. <laughs> Whoops. All right, now we'll just end it with this one here. Whoa, I'm about to go over the edge. <laughs> no, don't go over, stop, stop. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm just going to just hold it down and then maybe start spinning the canvas. Or maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'll just start tipping it and see what happens. I don't want it to come out too fast. not going to turn out. Maybe I should have layered them um, this way. That probably would have been a better idea. To layer them this way and then that way I would have had the lines like, I'm, like I had in my mind. But that's okay. We'll just play around with this and see what happens. It looks like a, look at these two drips. Kind of looks like a snail body <laughs> without the shell. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe if we tip it a little bit and just see what. No, no, no. Maybe we'll just wreck it.
see what we get. So you just gotta try things, whether you do it right the first time or not, and just keep on trying. And then if that don't work, just keep being creative, like I always say. Just keep playing around. And you can always do a ninja swipe. <laughs> That's what Sarah Matt calls it, ninja swipe. I think everybody calls it that now, I guess. I think she was the first one to have started that, though. I could be wrong. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I don't want to offend anybody that maybe they did it first, but <clears throat> when I watch other videos of people that are going to try it, they usually bring up Sarah's name, so. See what happens. Got a little spot there that don't have no paint on it. It's kind of cool. Got some cells popping up down here. That's cool. A little bit right there. Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I want to do anything else with it or not. Break that up a little bit there. Oh my god, that's really pretty, that shimmer there. Something different. I think I'm going to just do a little, little, little something right here. Sorry about that phone. I forgot to turn it off. I like that because it has some of the other colors smooth in there too. Well, it wasn't what I intended to do, but but now I think I'll know I'm going to try it different next time with that little scoop. Maybe I need to get a little bit bigger scoop. And then do the layers side by side rather than on top of each other. <clears throat> so pretty. I really like it though. I definitely don't hate it. It's coming out. I was going to see if I could get some more out from underneath it, but... Like it. 
color underneath the bottom of my palette knife here. <laughs> I don't know if you hear my dog sniffing. <clears throat> I think I'm Khaleesi. I think my other dog is on the other side of the door. <laughs> and Pink is in here is trying to sniff underneath the door because I think they're <laughs> missing each other. But but I think I think that's good. I think definitely it's a learning lesson. You need a bigger scoop. And then I should layer them side by side rather than one on top of the other. So that, that's all right. But that's the only way you learn. By just doing stuff, practicing, messing around. that pearl is given a little bit of a purplish well maybe it's the cobalt then I don't know because that's got a little bit of green and but I can see a little bit not a lot of purple but like you can see a little bit of it in the reflection like right here you can see some That's pretty fun. I think. You just want to make sure you wipe your bottom of your palette knife off before you go and do it again because you don't want to have the other paints <clears throat> underneath there, you know, or on top of it, and then you're going to have, like, your base, and you don't really want to, I mean, you can smear your base, I suppose, if that's fine, too, but... Cool. I'm thinking if I should do something here... Maybe like right through here. Oh, that's kind of cool how that came out. <laughs> There's some cells popping up in there too. Cool. All right, well, I like it. I'm going to torch it one more time. I see a few air bubbles here. But lesson learned. <laughs> Two lessons learned. Layer my paints side by side, not one on top of each other for what I was thinking. And then I need to get a deeper scoop. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even turn my light on. Hopefully this isn't too dark of a video. This is what I did and had leftover paint from. So pretty. See how she's over there trying to get under the door? <laughs> But it's cool. It's something different, funky. I love all the cells popping up there. That's really cool. The lacing, I guess. Lacing, not cells. See that shimmer where it kind of gives that purplish tone to it? And there's no purple in here. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Well, that was fun. But that's the only way you learn. By doing things and then learning from it. And then you mess it up. If it's not what you like, you can either scrape it or just 
start being creative and messing around with it until you get to something that you're happy with. And I'm happy with it. It's kind of cool. Kind of funky. Definitely different. I love the, the lacing and all the shimmer to it. It's gorgeous. But thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully everybody's being healthy and safe from COVID and, and healthy for everything. And um, I'll put my email in the description if you're interested in any of my art. Also, my Etsy shop and my Instagram will be in the description as well. But I do thank you for watching. Hope everybody has a good evening. Keep being creative. Bye.